All right, I just wanted to uh, do another little demonstration here of our new valve controller. This is it here, mounted on a um, half-inch uh, levered ball valve. It's designed to work with existing um, levered uh, valves. It just goes over top of it, so this avoids you having to do any plumbing. Of course, if you don't have a levered valve, then you'd have to get your plumber to put one in. But, you know, this is, uh, that's a half inch uh, valve here, and this is a, uh, this is a three quarter inch size. And this standard bracket here allows you to just mount it right over top of the, uh, the valve here. I just wanted to demonstrate uh, that's opening and closing. So, you know, it sits like, it can sit in any orientation except for really upside down. You don't want to mount it upside down. So, uh, vertically or horizontally, you can uh, mount this with your, uh, your existing valve controller. So I'm just going to leave it upside down here so you can just see it open and close while I just play with a couple settings here. So I have it paired to a SmartThings controller and I'm just in the SmartThings menu here and I just have it showing up a, the icon as a, a tap. So in the SmartThings controller uh, you can open and close it and you can see it's uh, closing there. Sorry about that. And of course, you can close it. One thing that's kind of cool is it's uh, it's very reactive. I can just hit this in the middle. Not that you would need that for a water shutoff valve, but you can just hit it in the middle and it changes quickly. All right, so I have this paired to, just for demonstration purposes, I have it paired to a uh, just a door window switch here that I've stuck inside this box. So you can open and close it here. And you can see the icon changes on the smart things. Open and close. But most useful really is the water sensor. So this is a smart things water sensor. And you can see in the bottom here, it has a couple gold uh, probes that just when you set it down, it could just so the idea would be you'd put this in a location where there might be a leak. So under your sink, in the kitchen, or by the in the laundry room on the floor, behind the you know the washer and dryer, or really anywhere where you think you might get a leak, uh, in the basement by the water heater, and you know and ideally you'd put a number of these out. So what it does is you can with smart things the way I've set it up here is I'm just going to go back. To it. You can see it, it's set here. That's the water sensor, the one on the left there. And it also has a temperature sensor in it that may come in useful for other applications. But you can, um, I've set it up, I mean this, it kind of runs backwards here, but it'll give you the idea, I need, we need to change the application, but it's actually closing when it should open and open when it should close, but I'll just give you an idea here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water here. So you have a small leak in the uh, the laundry room, and uh, the sensor picks it up, and it uh, closed the vent. And you heard that uh, beep. It also sent a text message to my uh, phone to tell me, uh, well, not a text message. It sent me a push notification to tell me there's been a water leak. So it's sitting in the water. There's a leak, and uh, you get it, take it out of the water, dry it off, and. The leak is over. Well, I guess in between it must have got another message, wet and then dry. So I got another text message. But that be that comes in very uh, that becomes very useful. So the idea would be is that this would be a water leak uh, damage controller. So you set three or four of these around the house. You you pair them up with your controller, and if there's any water, it uh, it shuts the valve. And uh, that's it.